So obviously some big shoes to fill mm -hmm. uh, at that safety spot. Right. But how do you feel it's going for you? And what do you sort what's sort of been your focus early on here in the spring? Um, it's going well. But the thing that I keep telling myself, you know, just come out here and try to get better every day. That's all it's about, getting better. Uh, come out here competing. That's the main thing. We just, everyone on the field just has to get better every day. We've heard you could be a leader, but you need more by actions than, than vocally. Is that kind of right? Or mm -hmm. you agree with that, I guess? <laughs> when you try to be more of a vocal leader, is that an important thing at the safety spot, or do you think you can just kind of you know, continue to play the way you're playing? Yeah, that's the um, number one thing with safety is we have to communicate you know, with everyone on the field, from you know the other safety to the corners on the field, to linebackers, you know, all of us have to be on the same page. Uh, that is something that I need to get better at, you know, just being able to communicate with everyone and then, you know, still get myself in line. And that just all falls back, you know, just getting better every day. One of the things that, that Coach Banda talks about is just, you know, Jamal Carter and Rayshon Jenkins got Sheldrick and Jaquan ready. How, how much did those guys do to get you all ready now that they're moving on? And, and what have you been able to take from them, even though they're not here anymore? They did a lot. Uh, we look up to them, you know, as role models, like our big brothers, you know. Uh, and it was the same thing for, you know, Rayshon and um, Jamal. Uh, but, you know, just being able to practice with them, you know, every day, and then just them taking us under, you know, their wings and, you know, just teaching us. You know, they come out here and still um, practice, you know, we're practicing, you know, with them. We have an uh, opportunity to, and we're still learning from everything that they do. So did they kind of give you like kind of the passing of the torch and tell you this is this is up to you now with Brian on? Uh, I guess you could say. Yeah. yeah I guess you could say. <laughs> How's the new offense impacting you guys on defense? Um, it's giving us different looks. It's giving us more things you know that we'll see um, when we actually you know face opponents. Uh, it's teaching us different things. Um, you know with the spread defense, we have to you know um, just fit the look. And uh, we just have to play our defense. You know, our defense is going to change. Uh, so, you know, that's another thing, just coming out here every day, knowing that things that we have in place, they're going to stay, you know, they're not going to change. So we have to live up to that. How are the younger guys kind of doing in the secondary? There's a whole lot of you guys who maybe mm -hmm. didn't play a whole lot. I know Trajan's kind of the veteran. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think of some of the younger guys now, Blades and everybody else? Uh, they're doing well so far. I think, uh, you know, been in their playbook, you know, they're doing a good job communicating with us and communicating back. Um, but, you know, it's never, you know, a certain point where, you know, we just feel comfortable. We have to keep pushing ourselves and every single day, you know. It's not just, you know, we did good this day because the next day, you know, it's the next day for failure and the next day for success. So we have to come out here and just get better every day. For the three scholarship quarterbacks, who's the toughest guy to read? Who does maybe the best job of looking off the safeties? And um, you know, kind of like keeping you guys off balance? Uh, I say they're all good at the jobs. Um, they do a good job, you know, you know, looking one way, then looking, you know, looking the other way. Um, they, they've been doing a good job with their reads. You know, they have a good coach. So, you know, it's Miami, you know, it's going to be competition at, at every position. And then I think both, all of them are doing, you know, good jobs from the top to the bottom.